sick kids. What time is that? Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Keith here, and I don't know how I missed this story last week. Well, actually, I can fathom quite a few guesses as to why, but we'll just we'll pretend that I don't know how I missed this. Um, Sylvester Stallone's Rocky IV colon Rocky versus Drago Ultimate Director's Cut hitting theaters and digital. This is kind of cool. I mean, you know, I'm a big Rocky fan. I love the Rocky series, even the lesser movies. Um, Rocky's four and five, probably a perfect example of um, the franchise basically falling off a cliff. Um, but I will admit, in 1985, um, I was in high school in my teenage years. We were at the height of a, a new Cold War with the Soviet Union, and um, there was always threats of you know, maybe a nuclear war. And they were showing all these like horrible nuclear war, you know, um, movies on TV, like the effects of what would happen if this. If this was going to, I mean, I remember doing drills actually um, when I was a little younger in, in grammar school and, and crawling under the desk, duck and cover kind of nonsense. Um, but Rocky IV, when it came out in 1985, um, it, it just, it, it, it really, it hit every part of uh, the dopamine centers in my brain as far as, you know, with the propaganda and with the, USA and the, it just it triggered every emotional impulse you had um and it also filled you at the end with hope because again you know Rocky stands there and he's like if I could change you can change we could all change and, and it wasn't long after that in real life uh you know the the wall came down and you know Ronald Reagan famously said uh, Mr. Gorbachev tear down that wall and and it happened uh, and then suddenly there was a McDonald's in Moscow, right? So, um, so as bad as this movie is, which you know the theatrical cut, if you take out the full-length musical montages, is probably about seventy minutes long. Um, they pad this thing out with tons of musical montages. There's, it's about as basic a story as you can get. And I will say this much: when Apollo died, I was freaking fucking pissed, man. You don't kill Apollo. I wanted Rocky to kick the shit out of Drago for that. If he dies, he dies. So anyway, let's take a look at this story on Deadline from uh, Anthony D'Alessandro. Sylvester Stallone has made an ultimate director's cut of Rocky IV titled Rocky vs. Drago that will hit theaters on November 11th for an exclusive engagement via MGM and Fathom, followed by the feature being available on demand the next day. But come on, folks. Go to the theaters. One night only. It's like a pay-per-view event. Go see it in the theater. Stallone has added 40 minutes of never-before-seen footage to the 1985 feature made during the U.S. Cold War with the Soviet Union, the movie having the Italian stallion traveling to the USSR to defend his title again against Ivan Drago, played by Dolph Lundgren. Stallone wrote, directed, and starred in the film, which grossed over $300 million worldwide back in the day, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, <clears throat> watch a trailer for the director's cut below. Stallone will show a live Q&A in select Fathom locations nationwide, along with a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the film. Uh, tickets are on sale today, and a complete list of theater locations are available on the Fathom Events website. When Rocky IV was released in 1985, the pick became the highest grossing of all the Rocky films, as well as the highest grossing sports drama and cinema for nearly a quarter century. The pick also starred Bridget Nielsen, Burt Young, Carl Weathers, Michael Pataki, Robert Durnick, Talia Shire, Stu Nathan, and Tony Burton. Erwin Winkler and Robert Shartoff produced the feature with Arthur Shabanian and James D. Brubaker serving as EPs. And there's the trailer there. So if you go to Deadline, find the story, you can watch the trailer. I'm not going to watch it here uh, for copyright reasons. Or maybe I'll just do that as a separate video. So, um, yeah, Rocky... For um, 40 more minutes, uh, I wonder how much of the 40 minutes will be more musical montages. We'll find out. So um, according to the numbers here, uh, Rocky IV grossed $300,373,716 worldwide. So if we go to our trusty inflation calculator, 
Today, it would have made $763 million, so upwards of a billion dollars. Uh, not too shabby. I couldn't find the budget for this film, um, but I'm guessing 85 it was probably in the $20 million range. Um, most of it salary to Stallone. Um, so here it is, the Fathom Events. You can... Uh, so there we have it. Uh, Thursday, November 11th. And um, I have theaters in California highlighted here. Um, but you can uh, put your own zip code in right over here. And uh, away you go. And you can find a theater near you. Please go see it. Support the cinemas. Uh, experience the movie as, as it's intended to be seen in a theatrical environment with an audience. Um, no doubt cheering and clapping as Rocky Balboa once again becomes the hero of the day. That's it. Love to hear what you think. Do we need a Rocky for director's cut? Personally, I say yeah. Uh, it always felt kind of cheap at 90 minutes with 20 minutes of musical montages. So um, I'm curious to see what, what the full, full script idea and what they actually shot uh, turns out to be. So leave your comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, and we will see you soon on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Also, please subscribe to Geek Time TV. It really helps us grow the channel. And make sure you hit that bell icon in order to receive notifications every time we drop new content here. You can also check us out on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Geek Time Net. Thanks again for watching. We will see you soon. Hey kids, what time is that?